Uh, good morning to Kevin Davies. Good morning. Morning, Kev. Morning. morning. How are you? Morning. Very well, thank you. Good. Um, first of all, a great win for you yesterday. Yeah, it was a superb, um, superb win from us. Good performance as well. I think, uh, I think anyone who's at the game, we we fully deserved it. And uh, it was just a really good away performance. We made them look look pretty ordinary in the end. So yeah, it was a, a good a good win for us. And I think that is, uh, you know give us a lot of belief now that we can go on and against the big boys in this league, really. Yeah, so it was a, a good good day for us. Now you're getting on at Preston, Kev. You're settling in there now. I mean, it's. I find it always tough. You've been out of place for a, a long time. Then you go to a new club all of a mm. sudden. and it, it does take a little bit of time to settle in. New faces. Yeah, of course it does. Yeah, I mean, having spent 10 years previously at Bolton and you know, it all gets a bit familiar. So I think sometimes you do need a change. And, uh, you know, I went in there and the lads have been superb and the manager and the staff. It's, it's great. I'm really enjoying it. You know, and after what happened to me at Bolton, that's what I needed, really. So, yeah, I'm really pleased with it and really, really enjoying it. And we're doing well as well. So that always helps, doesn't it? Yeah. Twice part of the Southampton setup, and do you follow their progress in the Premier League quite a lot? Yeah, of course. I think you always, Quinny will tell you, you always follow your, your ex teams. I think, and it's there. Uh, I think it's really pleasing, and I think they've surprised a lot of lot of people with how they're doing it. And I think people will expect them to fall away, but you know they're all in their own up there at the minute, and they deserve to be there. So it's fantastic, and obviously producing a lot of um, good young players as well for England, which is great for us as well. Yeah, I mean, I like the way they're playing the football as well. It, it is refreshing to see them playing some good football. On them, uh, debutantes, on, uh, we've, we've had Ricky Lambert, uh, we've had Rodriguez, we've had Lallana. Kev, you, you, you just had the one cap uh, for England, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Which, was, which was one more than me, by the way. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, is it hard to break into that England setup first of all, and then to try and grab your opportunity when you are there? Because you would say that a couple of them they did have quiet games. Yeah, I think, you know, I think it's not only about the game, but, you know, it's their the attitude in training, I think. And I think the one thing's in their advantage with Roy Hodgson, he, he will pick players in form, and he's not afraid to do that. Whereas previous managers, and you listen to some. Some of the ex-players who were playing, when they knew going away, they were never going to get a shout to play, really. Um, so I think with Roy, I'm, I'm pleased that he's giving you know players the chance to play, and it's not just picking the same old faces, really. It's picking the players who are doing the business on week to week for the, for the clubs, regardless of who they're playing for, and they're getting the chance. So I think they will be a bit disappointed with. With, with the performance, but you know, they did come up against a very good chilling oh, side. And, um, I, I said oh. to Kevin, I said to Georgie yesterday, the way, I mean, they deserved the chance, they deserved the opportunity on the back of being informed, playing good football for Southampton, but, you know, when you've got a friendly, it could have been anyone. It was ch oh. a very good chilly team. You know, I bet they were playing, it, it, it would have been San Marino or someone like that, you know, so they can bed yeah, themselves definitely. in. Yeah, definitely. And I think, you know, it, it's important that they don't sort of let that get to them. You know, they might get another opportunity against Germany where. I think they probably might not, whereas I think Royal pick a stronger, stronger side and look for a good reaction. But I think it's important they don't let it, themselves get too down. You know, if they're training hard and and keep doing what they're doing with um, with with their clubs, you know, for Southampton, they'll they'll be with a shout. You know, whether they can make it on that plane, that's another question. I think uh, they're going to have to keep playing well for the clubs, and I don't know if they're going to arrange any more friendly for, for next year. I know they've got Denmark, but they could do one or two more they've only, they've only got two, I think, before Brazil. Yeah. It, it would make a bit of sense, wouldn't it? Um, to, yeah. To, to well, every, I mean, you've got a World Cup in Brazil, you know, everyone would be desperate to get on that plane, will not they, you know? But I, I think, you know, you can only keep doing what you're doing for your club, and that's what I, I kept doing for years and years, you know? You, you can only do what you do for your club, and on the back of that, if you get selected, you know, that's fantastic. You know, they've got the first cap. In the bag, they're still young boys, and they can go on and hopefully earn a few more caps if they keep doing the right things for the club. That's 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 where it all comes from. Me. Are you surprised at Southampton under Pochettino? Do you think that they can still be up there realistically with a shout of the Champions League at the end of the season? I think it'll be. Uh, I think it'll be. That it'll be difficult for them, but um, you know they've, they've invested really well, bought some good players. But I think you know the, the way they play, you know the tempo and the closing down. The, you know even against the big clubs, they make it really difficult for them. And you know they've got some exciting players. They're playing some great football. They're good to watch. Uh, but with the other clubs around them, you know there's, there's probably six six clubs up there now who will be competing for them four spots. And I think it will be difficult for them to to get into Europe. But you never know. You never know, dear. So. No. 
going back to Bolton again. Have you been back since, Kev? Have you played against Bolton in any capacity? I remember when I went back, uh, I was three and a half years at Newcastle, and the first time I went back was with Coventry in, in the Premier League, and I walked into the home team dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> and the lads were looking at me, what are you, yeah. what are you doing? Um, have you been back? Have you seen any other places? Um, no, I'm still in touch with the boys. I've done a couple of um, local games for the radio because I want to do a bit I'm doing a bit more media and a bit more commentary I want to get a bit more experience I've done a couple of games but just the way it ended there you know it wasn't wasn't a great ending yeah. for me you know with the way it ended with the manager and, and, and the chairman and everyone I didn't, it didn't end the way I envisaged it to be honest but that happens in football but you know I'm still um, still still in touch with a lot of people there and I'm actually yes. at the Bolton Academy now because my lads are the under 10 so I'm still in and around the club you know and uh Obviously, when you spend that much time at the club, you, you still got a lot of friends and, and people in the game. It's not just the players, it's people at the club, you know. So uh, it didn't end for me that well at Newcastle as well. He sent me to Coventry, Kevin Keegan. <laughs> <laughs> Never forgive him. <laughs> oh, we were there yesterday. We got stuck on the motorway for four hours yesterday, so we had an eight-hour oh. journey back. So, oh, God nice. What, what's your lad's Lovely. name, Kevin? Give me a name, sir. Uh, Lucas. I'm just here now. They're playing against um, well, the scouts. Is Everton are in town, so right. they've done one nil up. So yeah, he's uh, he's doing okay. He's enjoying it, and you know. It's a, it's a good fan of the football I've been watching now for the last two years, and the, the academy football is unbelievable. There's some really good players coming through. Is he, he chip is off he the chip old block? Off? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Great jinx. minds think alike. Is, is uh, it like you, Kev? Um, yeah, he likes to tackle, yeah. <laughs> 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 is he a striker or defender? Or what what he's, position? He's playing, um, he plays out on the wings at the minute. He plays right, wide right, but he's, um, you know, he's only nine, and, you know, he's been here for a year, about a year and a half now, and he's just, you know, the, it's, a lot of football for him, but you know, while he's enjoying it, we'll support him. If that ever changes, then we'll yeah. we'll readdress it. But for me, it's just about him enjoying playing his football, really, and uh, you know, he's playing at a good standard of football, and it's, it's just good to come and watch. I really enjoy just watching teams compete at this age. It's so innocent, the boys aren't they? And it's yeah. just uh, just good to watch, really. Um, and the longer it lasts, the better as well. And um, just a, what, a final thought on your on your current team press and your chances of going for automatic promotion in a very competitive League One. Yeah, I think we've. we've We've played pretty much, you know, we played Wolves first game of the season at home and, and Drew there played really well. Went to Peterborough, conceded a couple of soft goals and then second half absolutely battered them down their place. And uh, other than Brentford, you know, we've played all the top teams now and, and beat top of the league yesterday. So I think what it will give us is that belief that we can we can do eight points behind second place now. And that's something we really want to go for. And I think we've got games coming up now. We hopefully we can go on a good run. We're doing really well away from home just to try and improve on our home form a little bit more and I think if we can go on a really good run now and get within such and distance we'll be in with a shout so um, that result yesterday could be huge for us really so yeah it's all good at the minute but there's a long way to go of course <laughs> it is Kevin and you're still enjoying it yourself yeah of course that's you know I wouldn't be playing if I didn't really and it, it Bolton it was uh, a bit of a sour ending for me there but it's important I went to a pub and, and you know go and enjoy playing the last few years of my career really, and that's that's why I went to Preston and Simon Grayson and the chairman and the owner everyone made me feel really welcome and chased yes. me down I felt really wanted which is what you want as players in it so thank you Kevin nice You're to welcome. speak to you good luck the rest of the season Kev see you thank you thank you Kevin Davis formerly of Bolton Saints uh, England and now at Preston North End as well who got, who got my treble busting result yesterday thanks very much